Okay, so now that you are ready, downloaded NNG Plus, what you can do is to go to the folder that NNG Plus is installed, which is in your computer, partition C. In here, let's go to this folder, NNG Plus version 23.2. And I'm going to ask you to go to example files and find a file called minimal. So here we have this file called minimal. And in this file, we have a simulation model with very basic uh, things that NNG Plus needs to run. So let's, what we're going to do is to start with this, uh, with this file here, and we're going to build our model upon this, this file. So uh, this file doesn't have any building, nothing, just the objects that uh, NG Plus needs, configuration objects. So let's uh, copy this file. And what I recommend you to do, it's always using a new folder for each simulation. So I'm going to create a folder that I'm going to work on inside of downloads here i'm going to create a folder called our model inside this folder i'm going to paste our example file minimal here and if you double click ep launch is going to to start and then i'm going to click on idf editor and this is what is inside minimal file if you press ctrl l energy plus will shrink down the and you can see that there is only class of objects that are settings for simulation. For example, you're saying uh, the version, the simulation control, the building, time step, location, design day, run period, global geometric rules, and the outputs, okay? So let's just run this minimal model here. You can run a simulation by associating the input file, which is the your model, okay, with a weather file. So let's choose the weather file that we downloaded for the last class, which is in downloads, Stuttgart. And in this folder, there is the EPW file. So let's select it. And then we can click on simulate and Energy Plus will simulate very fast. And here, it's very important that you check the run status of your simulation. Here, Energy Plus is telling me that the run is complete and it was everything fine and completed successfully. However, there are three warnings and zero severe errors. Warnings are things that you sometimes can, can, can disregard because they don't have a, such meaningful impact on the results. And severe errors are much more comple complex, and you, you, how, almost every time that you have severe errors, yours probably your simulation wasn't complete. So let's see what is these warnings. What are these warnings? So if you click OK, you have the results here, and in this table of results, you get this button called errors. If you click it. Energy Plus will tell you what are the errors, okay? So basically there are three warnings. First one is saying that in your model, we tell that our building is in Denver, United States, but we are using the weather file of Stuttgart. Also, there are two warnings regarding design days. So design days are things that are using to sizing systems, for example, an air conditioning system. So there are two design days, the winter design day and the summer design day. However, we are not using design days in this model. So this is what Energy Plus is telling us. You have design days, but you are not using. So let's close here and let's go to the IDF editor and let's fix these warnings. First, let's go to Control L and sizing period design day and let's delete it these two objects so just select it and delete it here in the superior menu now let's go to site location and we want to replace this information from denver to information from stuttgart where we are going to obtain information from stuttgart we're going to obtain from the weather file so let's go to download and open the folder for our weather file 
And here we have the Energy Plus location and design day file. So let's open, press Ctrl L. And basically what we want to do is to copy this object. So clicking copy here, go back to our minimal model and paste here. You're going to see that paths is not uh, allowed. You're not allowed to do. So basically just create a new object and paste again. Now paste is allowed. So just deleted the object that you created and deleted the Denver ob object. Now save it. And now we already deleted our design days and let's go to simulation control and simulation control is basically you are saying that energy plus what energy plus has to do have to do with this simulation so we don't want to do any sizing so basically we are telling energy plus do sizing calculation no do sizing system calculation no do plant sizing calculation no and do running simulation for sizing periods since we deleted our design days, we don't have sizing periods anymore. So I'm going to put no here. And here, Energy Plus is asking us, run a simulation for a weather file. And you're going to play yes. So save it, close it. This is our, our location file. Just close it. And... Go back to our folder and now you can run this simulation. Okay, now you can see the Energy Plus run completely and successfully the simulation with zero warnings and zero server errors.